You're watching Let's Chat. Hey, Chattanooga is in the studio today in partnership with 21 local churches and nonprofits. I have two wonderful pastors here with me today, Pastor Jeff and Pastor Jeremy. Thank you so much for coming on the show today and telling me all about Pray Chattanooga. What is it? So tell me, what is Pray Chattanooga? Well, Pray Chattanooga is a nonprofit parachurch organization here in town that just strives for church unity. I'm a pastor of a local church. Pastor Jeremy's the pastor of a local church, and uh, we're just better together. And Pray Chattanooga is a great vehicle that helps just unite people across denominational lines and puts activities and prayer movements together so that we can just reach our city in a greater capacity. T tell me about Back to Life. What is this event we have coming up? Yeah, the heart behind it is is just to unite around helping kids, yeah. not just with the physical needs they have, such as haircuts, uh, backpacks, school supplies, groceries, and there's other stuff. There's a lot of great items that we're providing for kids that day. It's also to create a spiritual spark in our community, some encouragement, some inspiration, because mm -hmm. we know so many people are discouraged and depressed in moments, and we just want to bring some encouragement to our community, and these churches are partnering together, and I think this is one of the first times I've seen so many churches from different denominations do something like this. I love city. that. I feel like I, I work in a news in a news building, and it, news is heavy these days, and with an yeah. election year, there's just so much yeah. stress and fighting. Talk to me about why maybe bringing up, bringing together, bringing everyone together, you know, under the, under Christ. Yeah. Why is this such an important time to do this? Well, it, because it is so heavy and things. And, and I think if we get siloed and we get isolated, and that's one of the things that I love. Jeremy is actually the one that really kind of came up with this whole idea, but we do our own back to school deal. You guys do your own back to school. Each kind of church helps in their own way. And we realize that it's it's one of those one plus one equals three situations. Right. If we all come together, we can meet all the physical needs and, and really reach the whole city in a far greater capacity. We're expecting to have 500 something kids come out to get backpacks for it. And that's able to provide school supplies for almost an entire school in our, in our, in our community, which is a great blessing. And we yeah. couldn't do that ourselves. But we can do it together because it's the body of Christ, and you yeah. might be the fingers, and you might yeah. be the toes, exactly. and another church might be the legs. So tell me about the churches that are participating. Who can we expect to see? Yeah, I wish I could remember all of sure, them. We have so many now, uh, and so if I leave you out, I apologize. But we have Silverdale <laughs> Baptist. We have, uh, I believe, City <laughs> Church is partnering yep. at a level. The Crossing. Uh, we have uh, several churches. I believe that we have a Presbyterian church involved. Yep. And Red we, Bank Cumberland. Yeah. Revive Church, Hamilton Life Church. We have a living, Five Stone. We Look have Living Hope, which is an Hispanic church off Lee Highway. Wonderful. And also we have Olivet uh, Baptist mm -hmm. Churches involved too. That's great. Yeah. So uh, where and when is it taking place? This Saturday, August 3rd. And it's at uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they'll come in waves. So we encourage them to register online okay. at Back to Life Chattanooga with the number two. Uh, because if they register, they can guarantee their spot. We will take walk-ups, but we have a limited number of walk-ups we can take, and it's already filling up. We have wow. hundreds of people already uh, Is registered. Is there a cost, or does someone have to prove income or anything? It's all like free. No. That's if wonderful. You, you go online, and it's available to anybody, and again, it's... Mm -hmm. Backpacks with school supplies. We're not going to provide all your school supplies, but a good chunk right. of school supplies. We're providing sports physicals. A food pantry oh. is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Haircut vouchers from sports clips are going to be there. Then we're going to have inflatables. Supercuts. Super I'm so sorry. Supercuts <laughs> is going to be there. Sports clips, we love you too. And supercuts, <laughs> we thank you for joining us. Uh, and, and things. So it's, it's the idea. Everything a kid would need to get ready for school, how can we help their family in that capacity Absolutely. while introducing and sharing the love of Christ with them? I love that. And you founded this? Uh, well, we did it together. This, oh, is wow. a, this is an endeavor we did together. It was an idea I had. Uh, but legitimately, the 21 churches have come together, and we've done this together. It's mm -hmm. not a it's not a one church or one person sure. thing. It's just, this is legitimately something we're all doing together. We were at Cracker Barrel, and he said, hey, <laughs> what about we do a back-to-school thing? And he said, I th have this idea. And I was like, that's great. Yeah. And then we started inviting other churches, and yeah. everybody rallied around. I love yeah. it so, so much. Well, thank you both for coming on. So wonderful to meet you and be blessed by you. May our viewers be Absolutely. blessed. And I hope uh, everyone go ahead and register ahead of time because it sounds like it's filling up. Yeah. The website is back to the number two back to life chattanooga.com going on 10 a.m to 1 p.m this saturday at revive church off of jersey pike wonderful thank you for what you're doing and for coming on the show thank, thank you for having you us so much thank you